On July 22, 1987, Mayor Koch stood on the steps of New York City Hall and declared that bicycling would be banned on 5th Park and Madison Avenues starting that September. The ban was an attack on bike messengers who were being scapegoated for the general dangerous and congested streets of New York City. Fortunately, this unfair treatment of one subgroup of cyclists struck a nerve and brought together the cycling community in a spirit of direct action that helped usher in an era of victories for bicycling in a livable city. According to Charles Kalmanoff, who was then president of the bike advocacy group Transportation Alternatives, masses of cyclists, sometimes a thousand and occasionally more, spread across 6th Avenue and paraded at three miles from Houston Street to Central Park South. Our stately pace, perhaps five miles per hour, was slow enough the passerby could look past our bikes and see our bodies and faces. Walkers and joggers could join our ranks. We were slow enough that we could and did stop at red lights. You know, letting foot and auto traffic across at the green light was a stroke of genius. It's certified cycling at City Friendly. This September 28th, 2012, we'll celebrate the 25th anniversary of this 1987 bicycle uprising and the 20th anniversary of the first critical mass bike ride. Join Time's Up and Friends in celebrating the people's defeat of a 1987 bicycle ban in New York City and 20 years of critical mass worldwide. Cyclists will retrace the direct action ride used to defeat a ban on bicycling in New York City 25 years ago. Come celebrate September 28, 2012. We'll see you in the streets. Thank you.